So Fukushima and Hirota, Yuki Fukushima, Sayaka Hirota are in the women's doubles final and they will await the winners of the Camilla Yule, Christina Pedersen, Danish pairing against Tanaka and Yonemoto. And uh, that is a second women's double semi-final coming up this morning. We've got the men's doubles first semi-final coming now. The world number one Gideon and Sukamulio from Indonesia against the unbeaten Japanese Kamura and Sonoda. And then we do have that women's sub doubles second semi-final. Yulun Pedersen, Tanaka, Yonemoto, followed by the second men's doubles and we finish with a mixed double semi-final last this morning. Well, this is going to be a classic. It promises to be a tremendous men's doubles first semi-final. Unbeaten Japanese, Kamura and Sonoda against the Indonesians world number one. There's Marcus Gideon. So we're ready now for our Master of Ceremonies uh, to bring the players onto court, Howard Bentham. This is the Dubai World Super Series Finals Men's Doubles. Let's welcome the players. First up, the runners-up from last year, the number five seeds from Japan, Takeshi Kimura and Keigo Sonoda. Now these are last year's beaten finalists and they're unbeaten this year in the round robin format and they've already beaten their opponents in the round robin so they do have the upper edge in this first men's doubles semi-final. Leading out the world number one, the winners of six Super Series events in 2017, Marcus Fernaldi Gideon and Kevin Sanjaya Sukamulio from Indonesia. Six tournaments they've won in the Super Series this year, and they contested eight finals. They lost to the Japanese pairing here in their second Group A match. What a contest in prospect here. I guess the one word for the Indonesians will be revenge for that round robin defeat. Yeah, definitely revenge. Um, the Japanese played a magnificent tournament. Black and and um, out, sort of outplayed the Indonesians in the round robin match. And that was a bit of a surprise, even though they are quite equal in the uh, in the head to head. Um, so very interesting to see this match, which is uh, all or nothing. No second chance for the losers. That's great. Yeah, this has got uh, high class written all over it. Looking at the uh, Indonesians here, this is Marcus Fernaldi Gideon, 26 years of age, from Jakarta. They won the All England Championships, the Indian Open and the Malaysian Open. The first three tournaments of this year's MetLife World Super Series. And uh, with his partner, Kevin Sanjaya Sukumulyo, who's 22, they came back then and won Japan, China and the Hong Kong Open just before coming here to Dubai. So six Super Series wins for the world's number one pairing from Indonesia. They did lose, and as you saw, that uh, match against Kamura and Sonoda, so that will still be in the memory, Ready that defeat play. against the Japanese.
Kago Sonoda. He's playing in the more regulation shorts, 27 years of age. World ranked five. And his partner, Takeshi Samura, 27 years of age. Likes to wear the longer pants, the heat retaining lycra pants there so uh, you can see a little bit of a difference here between the two japanese players but uh, unbeaten coming here and last year's beaten finalists they were beaten by malaysia's govi shem and tan Wee kyong last year's final well the head-to-head -head between these two teams the record is at three all the last meeting was just yesterday, Kimura and Sonoda won 21-17, 21-17. Steen Pedersen, former coach to the Danish national team, as we look at Liu Yun from China, who's the chair umpire, and our service judge from Malaysia, David Wong. Steen, oof, how do you call this one? Yeah. It's difficult. I mean, there might be some expectations uh, from the Japanese side now. They won the previous uh, encounter, and the Indonesians, they know that they have to gear up. I still think yeah, the Japanese have played really well throughout this tournament. I don't think they're going to take it again. And on my left, Mark Banaldi Gideon, Kevin Sanjaya Sukamulu, Indonesia. Marcus Gideon. In the front there with the lighter hair. Max Banaldi Gideon to serve to Takeshi Kamula. Marcus Lobo. Gideon will serve. Play. Kamura receives. Three so over. So the Japanese have Love. not been beaten in this. Dubai World Super Series finals, and they've already beaten the world number one pairing across the other side of the net yesterday in the round robin. <laughs> Tremendously quick hands there from Sukamulio. Racket speed is phenomenal. And a lot is on him uh, in terms of uh, lifting the Indonesian team. The Japanese succeeded in the group stage match on putting a lot of pressure on uh, Marcus Gideon, who is not as um, creative and dangerous on the front court as his partner, uh, Kevin Sukamulio, who perhaps is the most dangerous front court player in the world. But he was also a little bit neutralized in, in that uh, group stage match. So, definitely need to play better. see the fast pace and, and that's what uh, helps the Japanese pairs that they are almost as fast as the Indonesians if not faster so they can match them in terms of speed but can they keep Kevin Sukamulio out of the game more or less on the front court or will he stamp his mark on this match Sonoda at the back of the court. Three, two. Strong, powerful legs here. Height he gets. They've got a world ranking of five, the Japanese pairing. And you're looking at the world number one from Indonesia. That's such a phenomenal. Speed of racket from all four players. It really is. Yeah, that's that's amazing. And a very positive start for the world number ones. And this was how Sonoda and Kimura won their first game, attacking, coming forward, challenging, especially targeting uh, Marcus Gideon. is Gideon.
such is the pace of this match, you just can't Coming afford to back. blink. Five, three. Yeah, and, and what I notice is that uh, Kevin Sukamulio really looks in a fantastic playing mood from the beginning of this match here. And we could be treated to a fantastic match if both pairs are at their best. Fantastic defense. Sonoda with the defense couldn't keep it out a second time. Six, three. He's got his game face on. That's his business face from Sukamulio with serve. And it's a totally different look. Seven today than uh, yesterday where we saw them play Lee and Liu, the two uh, world number ones, Sukumulio and Gideon. Not to talk about when they played these two in the group stage, but... Um, let's see the proceedings. Kamura serves. Ah! Tremendous return of serve from Gideon. Yeah, it, it's a deception that works. I, I think he shows with all his body that he's going to make this deception. So, but uh, but we have to give him that it's it's working. Three points between them in the most frenetic start to this first semi-final in the men's doubles. 8-5, Indonesian world number one are leading. Well, it just crawled over the net, but it, uh, it's a point one for Indonesia. You see how it's really gave Sonoda no real comfort there oh, hey. Oh, hey, that's fantastic he's been razor sharp so far in the first game uh, Kevin Sukamulio Sukamolio with the return of serve winner. And it's the Indonesian pairing of Gideon and Sukamolio, the world number one, who lead 11 6 after just six minutes in this first men's double semi final. Eleven six Play. after just six of the most frenetic minutes on court. Indonesian world number one lead. Ah! Sonoda 
makes the error from the back of the court and noticeably how Kamura is just telling his partner to calm down here. He's just turned round to him. He just said, just calm down a minute. Doesn't want this yeah. gap to be more than six points. He played extremely well, uh, Sonoda, surprisingly well in the first match. And now he's uh, not gotten that self-confidence, missed the big one here. He's doing it again, isn't he? Kamura's just talking to him. So, just look at him here, he just looks at him to calm it down. There's a little high flow of adrenaline in this first men's semi-final. And it's 14 points to six, eight points between them now. Pretty soon, Sonoda's going to tell Kamura to watch his own game because at every point he's getting a bit of a lecture. Gideon Challenge called. Yeah, the Indonesians have challenged. Challenge from Indonesia and. I'm afraid it's not successful. Challenge and successful. One challenge remaining. Just the one challenge Three remaining then. Seven, it's still seven points play. between the two teams here. Sonoda with serve. Well played, Sonoda. The question mark in my mind is whether um, Sonoda can raise his uh, level to the standards that we saw in the group stage matches and whether the Indonesians can maintain that stability because they've been magnificent in the first part of this game here. Right. Oh, he almost hit that with his back to the opponents. Little trick shot there from Kamura and Sukumulio with the winner. Yeah! Lots of Indonesian support as well from a little group of uh, spectators here behind the court. Sukumulio, he's looking. Irrepressible in this Eight. opening game of the first semi final in the men's doubles. Smashes the winner between Kamura and Sonoda. That service return Nine. from Kamura uh, over the head of uh, Kevin Sukumulio, that's definitely not the way to do it. He was lucky here, but uh, if he continues to do that, then he's in for a tough time. Again, a lovely deception there from Marcus Gideon. Look how he gets up here and just deceives Kamura, who is expecting a full-blooded smash. Sugumulio can't retrieve. Pulled out some tricks, isn't he? Yeah, and, and Sukumulio um, again um, hits an air shot deliberately um, to sort of tease his opponents, and I, I don't really like that. And there's other sports they have um, they have uh, penalties for teasing for unsportsmanlike conduct. Two big smashes from Gideon, and it gives the Three Indonesians four, a game, game point. point. The world number one pairing of 
Marcus Gideon, Kevin Sukamulio. And he's in. It's a brilliant display. This is an, a lesson for the Japanese. And it's given them by Gideon and Sukamulio of Indonesia. And after 13 minutes, they take the first game, 21 points to 10. Japanese pairing here of Takeshi Kamura and Keigo Sonoda know that they've got to produce something far removed from what they managed in that first game. World number one pairing from Indonesia, Gideon and Sukumulu were simply irrepressible in that first, winning 21-10. This one um, big sign on the Japanese uh, tactics board, in my opinion, get it away from Sukumulio. And he, he's been killing them in the first game, and their only chance is to, uh, to be even more disciplined in attacking uh, Marcus Gideon. And then perhaps if they if they get in a good position point wise try to work Sukumulio a bit on the back court oh that's tremendous well from sonoda Three, he is hanging one. in the air from seconds it's a tremendous flick backhand flick well, look at that from sonoda Smashes the winner, and Japan take a quick lead in this second game, 3-1. Kamura serves. <laughs> he played it directly into the head of, of Sukumulio again, uh, Kigo Sonoda, and I mean, um, that's just not... Um, good enough and I, I, I fear for the Japanese that Sonora has lost too much confidence in, in this first game he was oozing with confidence when they played in the group stage it's a rare error from Sugamulio yeah but but uh, good play from from Kimura because he sort of took the pace out of it and tried to drop it below the tape and and that's exactly um, the right thing to do if, if you play with pace against Tukumulio, I mean, you might as well go and pack your bags immediately. Well, again, tremendous play from Tsukumulio. Straight four. between his Japanese opponents here. And the two Indonesians are really, really quick on the Japanese serve. We haven't seen a flicker yet. That's well played. That was how he looked two days ago, Keiko Sonoda. Crisp smash.
fantastic rally. Sokomolio was just magnificent in that rally. You make a very valid point, Steen. They've got to keep the shuttle away from Sukumulia at the front of the net. And perfect placement on that last shot. And to the right shoulder of uh, Kiko Sonoda. Just under the wing in badminton terms. He's Five, not there, so four. once again he plays Sukumulu in the service situation. Just out. Because it's not so easy because they want to play it so that Gideon doesn't have an easy return but the the balance between putting a little pressure on him and playing it so long that Tsukamulu can intercept or take over is uh, very very fine Misjudgment from the Japanese pairing. It's well played this time from Sonoda. Seven, six. Take a pardon from Kamura from the back of the court. Kamura serves. Brilliant hands again from Sukumulio. Look at the way he gets this shuttle back. <laughs> An overhead shot fight on the front court there absolutely amazing look at that Play. Good This man, Marcus Gideon, with the big smash from the back. So the Japanese pairing just a point in front. 9-8 in this second game. Lost the first 21-10. Sonora. They're a bit in the same situation as uh, we saw in the women's doubles with uh, Yu Xiao Han and uh, Huang Yachong. That uh, it's going to be tough there at the office if they're going to get back in this match. They've done the first part of it. Well, he's just moving with the speed of lightning. The fastest hands on court, and his movement is just intimidating. Play. Keep him out of the front court, but it's more difficult. It's easier said than done. That is. 
it is and and um, he's also playing some shots that are not as easy to distinct as as good shots but it's preventing the japanese from lifting in a good way to marcus gideon they cannot challenge him in, in the first lift that's the Japanese pairing who lead at the uh, break here, 11 points to nine in the second game. points the difference and the Japanese have edged in front much more positive start in the second game from them it's in challenge and it's clearly in my opinion challenge from Marcus Gideon it looked good it looked as if it was in Uh, Welling. Challenge and successful. One and challenge remaining. Japanese meaning. coaches, Rioni Meineke and head coach Park Jubong, working Play extremely off. hard in the interval here. And Play. they faced a situation where they probably knew that the Indonesians were coming out better than in the group stage match. But on the other hand, how much do you tell your players about that? The, you risk taking away the self-confidence they got uh, and then they come out much much better exactly as you feared and you still have a tactic that's working but uh, the players have lost a little bit of the confidence and so on you still feel that you have a good chance of winning you just hope they get back in the match four points the difference now Sonoda would serve Behind the back, that's fantastic. It's gone wide. Just incredible play from Sukumulio. We are seeing his full repertoire. Absolutely amazing. Look at that behind the back, and then the next save is great as well. Fantastic. It hits the top of the tape. Play. And then a delicate drop shot, and I think he should come round in the stadium after this match and taxing the spectators for an exhibition match as well, because he's combining a competitive match with exhibition-style play. This. Uh, fantastic Indonesian player still four-point lead for the Japanese pairing and this is what the Japanese have been waiting for that they slow down a little bit that mistakes creep in because I think um, sort of stability-wise, the Japanese probably um, are the more stable of the two pairings.
Oi, behind the back again. <laughs> this time from Sonoda. <laughs> and satisfied coach is there. Now it's 16 10. Sonoda and Kamura for Japan have come back strongly in this second game. Okay, Rule number one here Marcus Gideon and uh, Kevin Sukomulio from Indonesia. Finding now the uh, challenge from the world rank number five from Japan is strong and very realistic. It's just wide, is it? No, called good. Yeah, it's called in. on the line. There's no challenge. Perfect defense. Yeah, bang on the line. Flush on the line. Make very few errors. Yeah, that soft one 11. that drops in front of him. That's a very good shot from uh, Kumura and Play. one of the ways to cope with Sukumulio if there is ways to cope with him at all. Good serve from Sonoda. Gideon can't cope with it, and now this deficit is seven points. 18-11, second game. As Japan look to level this first men's double semi-final. Kamura with the winner. 19-11. And certainly have found a way to upset the rhythm of the Indonesians. Yeah, from a neutral perspective, I certainly don't mind uh, a third game when they're playing like this, the two pairs. Very unusual rally. Seems like the shuttles are really, really slow. like a little bit of a warm-up right now but there's a lot of just cat and mouse here how many shots were in that rally yeah, the, the shuttles they 14, tend to fluff a little bit 19. after a, a number of smashes and uh, I think that was the case here and then it becomes almost impossible to kill it 81 shots Kamura with a succession of smashes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like there's a drop shot. Exactly, there's been no drop shot yet to sort of draw the.
Hayes out of position. So, able to kill it apparently. Forehand error from Keigo Sonoda after another extraordinary rally in this second game. Yeah, and Rione Meineke, the Indonesian that is coaching the Japanese side, uh, is uh, directing his players because it's important. Oh. Struck above waist. He didn't like it at all, Sukumulia here, but uh, that's clearly a fault and it gives the Japanese pairing game point. Yeah, it's of course important to figure out what to do with these clearing rallies, which is uh, highly unusual in, uh, in men's doubles. Uh, because none of the pairs want to use a lot of energy right now. It seems like the second game is decided, but then again, a couple of few points, uh, a few uh, quick points for the Indonesians, they would have a chance. Great levels of patience shown here by the Indonesians. Just yeah, but this is this is a game of chicken, and and uh, Kamura has chickened out twice, and he can't continue doing that. So he's got to rise to the challenge if the Japanese want a chance to win this match. Oi! Twice, twice behind back. Yeah. Well, they're just creeping closer here. It's 2017. Yeah, the only point they won was that service fault call. Smash, Sukumolio. Just when you felt that the Japanese pairing were coming strongly to level, it's now just two points in it, still a game point for the Japanese. They were 19 11 up. Oi wide this time Second Japan get the point Kamula. and they hauled Yoda. themselves back into this semi-final by taking the second game 21-18 we're going to a third game the decider
This first men's doubles semi-final goes to a deciding game. Magnificent entertainment. Sonoda serves. And Sukumulio can't retrieve. Great reaction on the third shot there from uh, Sonoda. Some of their confidence back, yeah, the Japanese pair. Great work by Sonoda and Kimura. Coming back after that um, storm they entered in the first game. Three love. It's very quickly to a three love lead. For the Japanese. Fourth. So it's over. One, three. change ah! yeah, adapting the tactics that they've been uh, experiencing themselves um, Sukumulio and uh, Gideon when they're playing against the Danes Bowen Morgensen who's got a reasonable record against them Bowen Morganson very keen on playing Two, defense on uh, the Indonesians. Now they've adapted that strategy. Oh. Sonoda with the error. <laughs> Wonderful defense from Gideon, but uh, can't keep every one of them out. Sorry, it's over.
Robert Camelio wins the point. Outside the picture, Wait. Rioni Meineke, I think pointing to his heart to signal that uh, it's now that uh, some serious questions are being asked. 107 <laughs> shots that run. And of course, not necessarily about hey. Rioni Meineke's heart, but the Japanese players oh. will oh. to win to stamp their mark on this match here. Four all set in this decider. Excellent. Steen, we've seen tremendous Five. defense Five. by the Indonesians. How long can they keep this defensive ploy? When do they start turning to more of an attacking well, I don't mindset? Think, I don't think they're going to stop. Um, I think they're going to continue. Uh, employing this tactic as well as uh, as long as it um, scores them points and then perhaps play a couple of rallies uh, a little bit faster but um, i think if i were the japanese pair i would just try and uh, place sukumulio on the back court as well make it an endurance challenge Indonesians edge in front, 6-4 now. The Japanese pairing has thrown everything at the world number one. And then if I were the Japanese, I would change the shuttle after each rally because they clearly get fluffy. And you've hit it a number of times. And the Indonesians in this... Um, endurance game with the clears and so on they have in my opinion um, in, in terms of Sukumulio the most creative player and that's where the Japanese they lack a bit of uh, solutions when they are lifted high to the backcourt Sukumulio can't uh, deal with it. It's six all. Just moments of respite. It's been such a high tempo match. This first semi final in the men's doubles. Error from Sukumulio this time from the back of the court. One of the things that um, affects the shuttle's speed is, of course, the air pressure. And we have a bit of uh, meteorological information that the air pressure today is quite high. It's 1,023 hectopascal. So shuttles should be a little bit slower today than normally. And it's clearly on the line. I'm not sure what a, an air pressure specialist is, but I'm very impressed, Thurston. <laughs> clearly, well in. Challenge and successful. One challenge and if you remaining. told me the weather forecast, I'd say you were a meteorologist, but if you just told me the air pressure, what are you? Play. Knowledgeable. <laughs> Seven all in this deciding game for a place in the final. The men's doubles. Wide. Right. Sonodo couldn't handle the smash from Sukumulio. 
No, and the Japanese pair still haven't found a solution to the high lifts from the Indonesians. Play. Because they have the more dangerous player in Kevin Sukumulio. So he can suddenly pick up speed or get a read on the opponent. to uh, Takeshi Kamura. All the work he's been asked to do on the backcourt. Great effort from Sukumulio. Just mop the court whenever a player, you can see how much they're perspiring, whenever a player gets down on the court surface, it's course is wiped clean it has to be because of the pre precision and the speed of the footwork of these wonderful shufflers Nine. court surface has to be pristine and one of the statistics we have on the world number ones here Gideon and uh, Sukumulio is that when the match is longer than 54 minutes they're actually one one six this year in terms of winning losing so they lost six matches that have gone longer than 54 minutes. Right now we're on 51 minutes. But it's the opponent who's done the major part of the work here in this match. So you could definitely see the Indonesians go on to win it now. So a good match for the Indonesians as a short match. Four. No. Slightly off balance that time, Sukumulio. It's just the most extraordinary powers of finesse and improvisation. In. Again, that's the sheer class of. Sukumulio, and at the Ingle. interval in this King deciding Dan. game in this first semi final in the men's doubles, it's the Indonesian pairing who are 11 8 in front. Points to eight. The world number one pairing, Marcus Gideon and Kevin Sukamulio from Indonesia, are in front in this decider. Gideon would serve. This time, Kamura finds the net. Slightly off balance when he played it. First point in the resumption to the Indonesians. Service fault. Yeah, I struck above the waist. Gideon is not happy. What do you think, Sting? Uh, 
worst than the worst of um, services Nine. I've seen. Well. But it could be called. Sukamolio straight at the feet of Sonoda. Now this time, there's a slight misunderstanding with the Indonesian pairing. Sukamulyo leaving it for Gideon. Next with the smash, Sukamulyo. And if they go on to win this match, Gideon and Sukamulyo, and, and play themselves into the final of the World Super Series finals, by and large, they can thank themselves for exploring other opportunities in the second game whilst the game was not working they were about to get caught in the Japanese grind started exploring this what happens if we play really really high lift because we have to try something else uh, because what we're doing is not working and a lot of players in uh, the world circuit could learn from that if what you're doing is clearly not working. Try something. Plan B. Backhand defensive from Tommy Gideon. Lover. Doesn't clear the net. 11, it's a much needed point for the Japanese pairing. This one here. Japanese pair who were last year's beaten finalists in the final, lost to Malaysia's Govi Shem and Tan Nguyen Kiong. Is that wide? Yes, it is. No challenge from Sukumulio. He knew it was wide. Get them to play from below the tape. lead and only five points to the goal for Sukumulio and Gideon. That's a tough task for Kamura and Sonoda. Gideon, he knew straight away that it wasn't his best. Muckers. Muckers. Japan hanging on here in this deciding game. Over. 13, 15. Is that a touch of tiredness there from Gideon? No, I don't think so. Yeah. These guys don't get tired, do they? Oh. Kamura apologizes. Straight at Sugamulio. Only two points in it now. Play. All the tricks coming out from this mercurially talented Sukumulio. He was originally going to leave that um, serve from uh, Takeshi Kamura. And changed his mind and what a fantastic return. Oh, he might have been producing some of the uh, tricks from his little Pandora's Play. box, but there's only one point in it now. Kamura serves. 15 16. In. And uh, he's gone totally off the boil. Uh, Marcus Gideon. 
And Park is very animated, Park Yubong, the Japanese head coach. Telling his players that's the way to do it. Sixteen points each in this decider. This deciding game in the first semi-final of the men's doubles. It's up to Sukumulio to save the Indonesians. The error from Sonodo. Put Tal down here. So close to call this. I think you're right, Steen, that Marcus Gideon's just gone off the boil and he's relying on the Play. strength and influence of his partner, Kevin. Sukamulio, but it's Gideon who serves. It's a challenge. In, and it's a challenge. No, 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 no. He, was, he was just racing his racket. That was my mistake. I thought that Kamura was challenging. It's on the line. 18 16. Yeah. Good serve from Gideon. And they're edging closer to a place in the final. The world number one pairing who've won six Super Series events this year. They've contested eight finals. Match point. Tremendous support for the Indonesian pairing. Gideon serves for a place in the final. They've done it. Marcus Gideon and Kevin Sukumulio win a fabulous semi-final against Japan's Takeshi Kamura and Keigo Zunoda. That was brilliant badminton, worthy of the final itself. It's a pity there has to be a loser, but it was a great contest. And 21... 16... Won by Margaret the final Gideon. game score. Kevin Gideon and Sukumulu winning 21-10. 21-18, What a titanic contest and struggle it was. And Sugumulio, you feel, had to carry Gideon at times. What a contest. Uh, fantastic, uh, fantastic match. And these four pairs. Looking forward to the next men's doubles as well.
So Marcus Gideon and Kevin Sugamulio come through a fantastic first semi-final to take their place in the final. And they will await the winners of Bo Morgensen, Liu and Zhang, Denmark and China in the second men's semi-final. Five doubles semi-finals in this morning session. We get ready now for the uh, Denmark-Japan women's doubles first semi-final, second semi-final rather. Camilla Yul, Christina Pedersen against Shiho Tanaka and Koharo Yonemoto. 